morning class. This video is going to be on arithmetic sequences. Uh, what arithmetic sequences is a sequence of numbers, uh, such like this, where you're either adding by a constant term or subtracting by a constant term to get every number in this sequence. Okay, so the number that we have, or the sequence that we have, is 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, and this goes on forever and ever and ever and ever. Okay. Now just to help you, I'm going to give you the formula to start off with. It's this. It's A of N. Okay, that's how we say this. Don't think of this as A times N. That's not what it is. It's equal to A of 1 plus, in parentheses, N minus 1, and then times D. Okay, so in this formula, there's a bunch of stuff that I don't know. We have to decipher what these things mean. Okay. So first off, look at this sequence. I want you to tell me, um, just look at it, what is the pattern here? Well, if you can see, from every number, we're increasing by four. Okay, so I'm gonna add four. So plus four, plus four, plus four, and you can just keep going. Okay, so with this, that pattern, we just call is D. Okay, now D stands for common difference. Common difference is just a fancy way of saying is what is the pattern? So we can say that D is four. Okay, that's the pattern. Now, this stuff over here, A of whatever we have. Okay, um, just simply, um, so like if I had A of one, A of two, A of three, whatever, um, all those things represent is A of one represents my first term. A of two represents my second term. A of three, the third term. A of 57 is the 57th term. That's all that means. Okay, it's just a different way of writing it. So, A of 1, well, if I look at my sequence, my first term is, well, it's 3. What's the second term? Well, if I look at my sequence, what's the second number in it? Well, it's 7. Okay. A of 3, well, it's the third. Okay, so that's 11. So that's all we really need, is that A of whatever represents when I line up all these numbers, which one is it? Okay. So I'm going to erase this. <clears throat> so that's what I need. I need to know what is D. I need to know what is A of 1. We have those two things. D is a pattern. A of 1 is the first number. You always need your first number. In this case, it's 3. Okay. So we almost have what we need. Um, now you can see at the very beginning, we have this A of N. All A of N represents is what you want to find. It's where you're going to be at now. So let's say with this sequence, I wanted to find the, let's say, 20th term, okay? So I'm gonna put, instead of putting A of N, I'm gonna put A of 20, okay? And let's fill out what we know here. Why well, know that A of one is the first term we found out that that was three? Okay, so let's just put a three right there. So A of one is three, simple enough. Plus we have parentheses over here. Let's go back to that, but let's fill in what is D. Well, D we found, which is 4. So I'll put times 4. Now this n minus 1. So instead of writing n minus 1, we have to decipher what is, what is our n. Well, if you look, compare from the top formula to what we have now, we can tell that n is, well, it's 20. Okay. So 20, I'm just going to put 20 minus 1. All right. So instead of having n minus 1, we now know that n is is that number. N is always a number you're trying to find. And I'm trying to find the tw 20th term in the sequence. Okay, now once you have it um, like this, you can now just simplify. So I have addition, I have parentheses, and I have multiplication. What do I do first? Order of operations, parentheses. So we're gonna have three plus, well what is 20 minus one? It's just 19. And 19, we're gonna keep times four. Okay, well now we have addition and multiplication. So. What do I do first? I do multiplication. So we have to multiply 19 times 4. And let's do some scratch work off to the over here. We're going to have, well, 9 times 4 is 36. Carry the 3, 4, 7. So it's 76. So I'm going to have 3 plus 76. And finally, you just add them. So we're going to have, well, it's just 79. Okay. So what we found is that A of 20 is 79. Meaning, if I were to line up all these numbers for ever, the 20th term would be 79. 
So you can put A of 57, A of 100, whatever it may be, you can always find any sequence in that number. And this is the formula that you're going to use. Okay, now if that did not make sense, what I'm gonna advise you is that you rewind it, pause it, all of that. Okay, but that concludes this video. All right, thanks.